Welcome to another episode. The reboot of the reboot of the season two mm-hmm. of. Sorry, with the hats, I got confused. I'm the nerd, and I'm the geek. Um, you're really not gonna say anything. We're back. What? I... How's that? Is that better? Is that for saying something? That's what I was waiting. That's for. okay. There we go. It's out there. Oh, I like it. It yes. feels good um, to be back. To be together. Exactly. The unit. Yes. It's like if Simba. Yeah. And Aladdin. Yeah. Became like Aladdin riding Simba. <laughs> if, <laughs> Imagine that. Goodbye. Goodbye, rest of Disney. I mean, like you might all as well. the money. <laughs> I don't even know Sorry, Elsa. anything about Frozen. I was going to say. But she would be gutted. So- <laughs> Simba would show her her own intestines. Yes. Yes. I was just, yeah. I don't even know what's happening at this know, point, yeah. but I'm just excited. Um, you know. And I, I, I couldn't think of a more classic... Movie to come back to. Oh, a more us yeah. film. Yeah, the really the art, the art. Yeah, <laughs> that is displayed. Yes. Seth, tell them we're gonna be talking about Furious Seven. Yeah, <laughs> that is the that is the thing that we decided that that was really the, the coming back. That's what that's what but it's what made us come back. I mean, I, we were on a hiatus, and then it was just like, hey, there's another Fast and the Duh. Furious. We should. Star Wars trailer. We've never even heard of. There's <laughs> only six Star Wars. There's seven, seven fast movies. Yes. And Furious yes. movies. Yes. It's crazy. So. It's almost. Let, let's. You want to get into it? Of course. You that's what some, they want. You. You've been waiting. Yes. That's what they want. Okay. So yeah. we're back at it. Yes. We got Dwayne the, the Rock, Rock Johnson. Johnson. We got Vin Diesel. We've got Paul Walker. Walker. We got Tyrese. Tyrese. We got Ludacris. Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Yes, like the whole crew is here. We and then we've got a few new people. Yes, um, we've got the the Brit. Oh, Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Which here, I just want to bring this up really quick. I think maybe Jason Statham and Luke Evans from the last one might be the best brother brother duo combo. In, in like in movie history. What about Ma- Mark Wahlberg with th- three brothers? No, like four brothers. Is that what you're talking four about? Four brothers. No, no. I'm talking about like what about the fighter with uh, oh, Batman, Tom, Tom Hardy, and is no, you're thinking about? of Warrior. Oh, That's oh, okay. Tom Hardy and gotcha. Batman. No, what I'm all I'm saying is is like like before this, I was thinking Die Hard with like uh, Alan Rickman, and then all of a sudden for the third one. Jeremy Irons is his brother, friggin' Scar. I know! <laughs> what the heck? The so, voice. Yes, the voice of Scar. So I don't know. That would. I think this is up there, though. What about Hot Rod? You've got the two Lonely Islanders and Step Brothers. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, you look pretty today. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we've also yeah. got... Uh, I'm cheating over here. Yeah, we're Keep the kids at Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell is Mister Nobody. Is yes, what he's listed is, as. Well, I mean, he never actually gave a name. Um. So. And then you've got the new. Nith- Nith- Ramsey. Yes, I don't actually know how to pronounce her name. Emmanuel. Yeah, Miss, is her last Miss Emmanuel. Name. I don't know. There we go. So. What did you think about the movie? Let's okay. talk. Let's rap. That's what the kids want. Oh. Kids want the nerd and the geek to rap. Am and I gonna go first on this bad sure, boy? Sure, let's talk. I yeah. Okay, let me hit you with the facts. One, really good. Yeah. Five, yeah. The reason to keep watching the series. Oh yeah, it like rebooted everything. Seven. Yeah. Killed my soul. Seven killed your soul. I. I understand the movie. Yeah. I understand where you're going. Yeah. But you take. The, the craziness is the cars. The craziness isn't that the, Vin Diesel is the Hulk. <laughs> or The Rock. For that the matter. Rock, okay, I believe the Hulk. <laughs> I believe The Rock could be the Hulk. Yeah, okay. But when you start punching people five feet in the air and ten feet back, yeah, and they land on their feet, mm-hmm. and you start... It's just... It just took me out of the coolness. Because the coolness was... 
okay, you'll get in these these little scuffles, yeah, and you'll beat the crap out of someone, yeah. But it just got to a superhero level where it's like these are feats of strength that like I actually. I took my hat off mid movie. Yeah, I looked at you two and I just said I'm um, done. I, I check out at this I point. I check out. You check out because okay. it just I could suspend reality and believe you're parachuting cars yeah. out of a plane. Yeah, you've got I mean, GPS you could, parachutes. I was gonna say you could always be a classy driver. Yeah, yeah, but you can't be. That, you know, that's the superhero ness of this. Is yeah, the stuff you do in a car. Yeah, and like I I believe Paul Walker's sprinting on that bus. Yeah. And he, she drives the car there yeah. just in time and he grabs it. Yeah, you believe that? You're yeah, on board? Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah. I believe the rock could. All this stuff is the coolest stuff. Like, yeah. this is what you want out of Furious yeah. 7. Mm-hmm. Like, when he drives the ambulance onto the drone. <laughs> onto the drone, yes. Yes. So cool. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm behind all of these cool action set pieces around cars. Yeah. But when. The fighting is what, what took you out of it? If you're not. A small Asian man that could hit with knees of fury. Yes. There's no reason that you should be out of your car. Gotcha. For this amount of time. The the fight in the beginning. Great Fast and the Furious fight with The Rock and Statham. Statham yeah. Because it's all guns and explosions. and Yeah. They punch each other, but Not. they punch each other realistic. Girl. Yeah, a little. Cr- yeah. Well, I was gonna say, I want. I want to comment on that really quick. I was reading an article where, uh, or I guess it was a, watching an interview. I guess where Statham and The Rock were talking, and The Rock was like, you know, some actors uh, don't check their ego at the door, but Statham he checks his ego at the door. Well, when we were kind of like blocking the fight and talking about the fight. I was like, can I rock bottom you through a glass table? And Statham was like, sure, whatever you want. <laughs> and I think that's cool because that's The Rock's finisher. Like. In, in the wrestling world, so in which you know you and I are, if you if know, he had a fans, the, the elbow, the, pe- the people's elbow, you would have checked out then. No, I would have been. Oh, I would. I could have excused the rest of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I could have said, okay, you've got two huge wrenches, and you're pulling jagged pieces of metal off a car. Yeah, that was a bit. That j- it was weird. It was just that scene, I think, because he yeah. stomped. Dude, Vin Diesel stomps a parking garage out of into existence to. Ruin, yeah. yeah, like okay, it's cracking and whatnot. Yeah, his the, and the force of his foot can finish the. And Statham's this highly trained assassin. Highly trained assassin. He sees all this cracking around him. He sees Vin Diesel setting up. Dude doesn't move. Yeah, it's strange. Because what I thought they did well is in a short amount of time, as comic booky as it was, they made Statham a badass. Yeah. That first scene where he's talking to his brother. Oh, that was panel, awesome. And he starts can, walking he just walks out. through all that destruction. That's comic book panel to yeah, panel. Yeah, it's cool, though. Yeah, and yeah. that's that built him. That's something that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy should have took a look at and mm-hmm. learned how to make a badass. Yeah. Um, because they made him a badass. Mm-hmm. But then you have to live in that world where you have this uber badass. Yeah. And now... Stomp. Yeah, a just stomp beats you. I the, such good build up, such good two thirds of this movie. Yeah, and I thought the the whole thing too didn't it seem like it, it like Statham just kept getting away. Yeah, it was just kind of like cool. I guess, but at the he's same the time, shadow. He's yeah, but at the same time, like he's sitting and eating that meal, and shoot, like they could have yeah, shot him. There's like, so many there was times, a lot of times where it was just kind of like, hey, you know, you should get him, but whatever. You, when you already gave him so many chances and he yeah. got away, yeah. So just kind of oh. silly. But there are some freaking cool set pieces in this movie. Oh, yeah. The road with the buses, mm-hmm. and, like, on that, one. that is a set piece yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. Um, the whole I, Abu Dhabi. I dug the Abu Dhabi stuff for some I, reason. I could take that little six-inch sub and yeah. live with that. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that was... I uh, What I really dug about that, I've never seen Abu Dhabi in a movie. I, I guess apparently it was in Mission Impossible, the last yeah. one. I never saw that, though. So need, We'll watch it with him. Okay. Then, because the next one... Yeah, looks, looks That fun. trailer was almost better than the movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was going to say, I thought that was cool because I've never been to Abu Dhabi before. I kind of feel like that, oh, cool. I, I kind of... I kind of get the layout and everything of what, like, what the city looks like. It bothers me not at all, this part. But you're telling me because some guy works in a garage and sold the richest dude in Abu Dhabi a car or yeah. a USB drive that all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I'm getting five or six people into the 
biggest yeah, party of the that is town. true of the year. Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Means interesting. To I was gonna say interesting subplot. But the movie really interesting. You're talking subplot. about butts, right? Tushes. Oh, uh, heinies. Um, yes, I was gonna say. Well, a tush, a good tush, is always one of my favorite subplots. I will say that. But uh, Fury Seven does not disappoint. I was gonna say front. a lot of. I was gonna say fast. Like we're saying that like. This one's very different, but at the same time, you get race wars at the very beginning, so it's yeah. just like another Fast and the Furious. You get the cars, you get the girls, you get the craziness. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, um, I kind of like the fact that they kind of worked on uh, uh, Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez's characters, like actually kind of yeah. made them link up with family and stuff like that. I like the story. I mm-hmm. feel like it's a forced transition a lot. Yeah, like it's just like end of cool scene. Oh crap. Um, how do we fade in and out? Mm-hmm. We've got this this cool story. I like this story. I just feel like it was very much like just putting, bookend, like, putting them next put to this each other here yeah. to kind of buffer it. Yeah, before, before we the got next other craziness. Cool yeah, gotcha. Cool story. Just finesse that thing mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got one more main thing to talk about, but we'll talk about that here in a second. I okay. have a feeling. What's your overall? I enjoyed it. It's not my favorite. I think uh, somewhere, I think my favorite would, well, one, I like, it's weird. Like, I'm not really into cars and all that stuff. I just think that these are kind of just fun movies. I have a station wagon. (laughs) I was going to say, I drive a Chrysler Cirrus. Like, I don't know anything about cars, but I always kind of liked the first one, and then I, I watched the second one. I remember I hated the third one. Uh, I remember yeah. seeing that at, like a graduation party or something like that, and then I got yeah exactly. I was just like, this, funny. this is dumb. Why is Bow Wow in this movie? <laughs> like, where where is everybody? And uh, was there a ludicrous song? But speak, was there a ludicrous song in this movie? There probably was. I didn't catch it. I'm sure there was. Uh, anyway, I remember getting really jazzed up when the fourth, the fourth one. Says, oh, cool! Everyone's, everyone's coming, coming back for it, and then and now, now it's, it's like, like now a heist franchise. franchise. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think that the the, the beauty and everything kind of lies somewhere within five and six. Somewhere in there, and, and so, so I um I enjoyed this movie. The more I think about it, the more I did. Uh, I liked it. It was fun. It was a good summer summer blockbuster. Um, yes, all, all kinds of crazy explosions and stuff. The Abu Dhabi scene was pretty awesome. That the chase scene with the bus was pretty sweet. I was really happy Tony Jaa was in this oh. movie because. He's, he's, he's just, just a gem. gem. He is just a little gem. And the yes, uh, he, he's, he's in, in the, the Protector, protector Ombach. I've seen actually all three Ombachs. Uh, I think there's three Ombachs. I've, I've seen, seen all the Ombachs and all the Protectors. And, all the protectors. Yeah. and uh, I love it. I dig it. I suggest it to anybody. If, if anybody's really into, like, uh, I don't know, fighting. He's got the whole Muay Thai kickboxing. Yes, knees and elbows. That's what he does to you. And uh, I, I guess, guess this was his first American, American film. film. Yeah. So, so which that, that was super cool. cool. He, I, I wish he was, was in it a little bit more, but he, he was, was a nice little sub boss for them to fight. fight. And uh, we, we got, got to see a little bit of him shine, shine which, which was, was cool. And, and I, I think that was hardcore, hardcore. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, I gotta get up. He actually kicks a pole walker and a door and rides them both down. When you saw that in your head, did you say? What's, What's that, that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> I really I just, just think that's, that's all, all I thought. All the time. I just imagine when, when he landed, he was like, Legolas ain't got nothing on me. Because like, Legolas tries that shield down the stairs, stairs and two times. Never, never hated, never hated, hated that. that. I know you don't like this movie. But, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, do you, you want to talk, talk about the end? Yes. Okay, let's talk about the... I think you have the popular opinion. Okay, I'll admit it. I bawled like a baby. Um... And, and I, I think, think that, that that just comes, comes from, from the idea that, um, as, as we, we all know, know, he didn't finish this movie. And as s- some of you viewers might know, I've worked on a movie before, and um, it would be very sad if something happened and we wouldn't be able to finish the movie or something like that. And uh, I think the overlying like idea of the movie is family and being together and um, being a part of something. And just, the I, I don't know, it would be sad not to be able to finish something that you started. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I bawled like, like a baby all bit. I mean, I thought that it was handled pretty well. What do yeah. you, the uh, I the end CGI is pretty wild. Oh like, yeah, looks a lot like him. Um, apparently, it was uh, his brother finished filming, and then they CGI'd his face on his brother's body for a lot of different shots. And 
it was, was hard, hard to tell, tell which scenes were him and which scenes were. I feel like that there was some were a little bit of a dead giveaway because they were shooting around his face and stuff like that. Were and he wasn't really in the movie a whole lot. No, he just was kind of in the background doing other stuff. This was definitely a Vin Diesel driven movie. Vin Diesel. Yes. 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 So, so we're, we're, what were your thoughts? Okay. So, so I come, come my, I don't know. It is. Let me start no, with saying I love, I, I like, like Paul Walker's work. work. Um, I, I just, just. You big, big fan, fan of Into the Blue? <laughs> <laughs> he has some good ones, he has some bad ones. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right. right. yeah, yeah, right. right. You do one for, you do one, one for them and three for you. Like, um. I just, I just come, come from, from the. Oh, oh, now I'm forgetting. Um, it's okay. What's, what's his name? name? The, the director, Batman. Batman. Nolan. Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Nolan's yeah. um, thought process where people would ask him if he was going to deal with Joker and what he was going to do, and he just wouldn't touch it because he thought it was very disrespectful. Mm-hmm. And as, as I, I felt, felt like this was handled very well, it just. I feel, I feel like, like it almost horrid. His him out as, as a personality, personality. At the end. and just like, but are, are you selling, selling tickets, tickets off of this? Yeah, which I think, I think without a doubt, yes. But yes, yes you, you handled, handled it well. well. Um, would he be happy with that? And he'd be very happy with it because you finish the movies that he loved making. Everyone knows that him and like Tyrese, especially had a great friendship, and mm-hmm. they always still talk about it. So I'm sure everyone would have been fine with it. Just the the sanctity of yeah. His being, like... Mm-hmm. No, I understand. I, I think everyone's going to love it, and no one's taking advantage of him. No, I don't um, think so. I just, I just feel like it's a very strange thing to just put that in front of everyone yeah. and put that in that emotional state. I was going to say, I remember just being like, because, I don't know, the, I think the song's pretty emotional, I don't really... Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he sings, sings the, the, the the choruses, or I don't really. I, I like the. Uh, I don't know whoever's playing the uh, piano. Yeah, the piano and the. Or sorry, Wiz Khalifa is the verses. Whoever's playing the piano and the chorus, like. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a good circle. Yeah, and I was gonna say it's it was a nice going away and send off and everything. And I I really don't feel like we need to make another. There's apparently three in the pipeline. Really? Yeah, I am psyched. For a new crew or a new parts of the crew, I'm just yeah. psyched for a whole new crew. I don't yeah. think that's gonna happen. Oh, no. but I think you'll keep your. I think The Rock was almost the anchor of the heist franchise. Yeah, these three. Um, and then, even, even though, though I really, really felt like he just kind of cashed in a paycheck. Yeah, this last one, like he just wasn't in it that much. And I really didn't feel like he was trying very hard. In this one, he flexed out of a cast. Yeah, that was. He flexed out of a cast. Oh my! <laughs> Daddy's <laughs> gotta work. <laughs> Take a bunch, bunch of pain pills, go out the door. So, so I'm, I'm excited, excited for that. Yeah. Um, to see, see if, if they, they totally change it up. Because, because I, I, I did feel like halfway through this movie, movie like, where's, where's the new stuff? Is this yeah. is just same crew, same, same stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys are badasses. Yeah. Insanely bad. Like, like you, you almost don't need the cars anymore. anymore. It's like, yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would kind of like Luke, Luke Evans to break out Statham, because Luke, Luke Evans was apparently still alive, just all burned up in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that'd be kind of cool that the, they got to deal with both brothers at the same time. 50 miles of concrete. Yes. yes. You just dig through. Yes. You just dig it, boy. Exactly. <laughs> so, overall, enjoy the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's a fun movie. movie. Uh, I definitely would put it behind five. Yeah, yeah no, no, I don't think it was as good as five or six. Or six yeah. yeah. But, but it's still worth watching. No, I mean, it's good, and I was going to say, what else is out there? Right now? No, not really. And uh, especially, I don't know, if you are a Paul Walker fan. I mean, I did enjoy his, his work in these movies. I thought, I mean, he's a more likable character than... Uh, it, or, Brian is a more likable character than Toretto because I don't think that he's supposed to be likable. There is no way that if you were a superhero and someone said, "Go home and hang out with your family," and every time you go home, your wife says, "No, go kick ass," yeah, that you would stay home. Yeah, it's true. As a story, kind of thing. It does whatever. Yeah. You, you but they yeah. again, they, they were did what you needed to do. Yeah, and. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, th- I did. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was fun. I mean, that's that's basically. That's the bottom line. Yes. Because <laughs> because the rock says so. Yeah. What? That's not right. 
right. No, no not, not at, at all. all. But, but yes, yes. Fun, fun movie. movie. Yes. You want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Guess, Guess what? what? We're, we're back. back. We are. Yeah, we got. got uh, we're, we're not going to promise, promise everything because I think, think we, we do that too much. Way too much. But we've got this. We're going to try. No, we're going to do. Do or do not. There is no try. Um. Yeah, tell, tell us, us what, what you want to see. Yeah. Let's, Let's make, make this, this a community. community. I've got ideas for community-based reviews, so if you get in that comment section, you talk to us, you yeah, see lovely. us at Game Preserve, at GameStop, you talk to us. Let us know. Let us know. Let's, Let's get, get busy. Let's yeah. make cool stuff. Get Mixy Nerd. Mm-hmm. See you later. <laughs>